Hey everyone, Tom here. And today we're gonna go through how to locate, inspect, and replace the check valve assembly and duckbill seal on the D14 MZ3000. Now first, you wanna make sure that you have all the proper PPE for the chemicals you're gonna be interacting with today. We'd also like to take this time to make a quick note that the injection stem assembly and your hose assembly may contain undiluted chemicals. And because of this, you should take all the proper precautions for the chemicals you're gonna be dealing with. We also recommend that if possible, flush the unit with fresh water through the injection hose assembly prior to working on it. Now before doing any service on the unit, we'll wanna make sure to shut the water off upstream or before the unit and relieve the pressure in the line after. To remove the hose assembly, simply loosen the hose nut and pull down on the ferrule and hose, removing from the unit. We're gonna locate the strainer at the bottom of the hose. You can disconnect the strainer from the hose by loosening the nut and pulling the ferrule and hose off of the strainer. At this time, go ahead and rinse the hose with fresh water if you notice any undissolved particles or debris inside of it. Now we're ready to remove, inspect, and reinstall the duckbill seal. To do that, Remove the weighted portion from the bottom of your strainer assembly by unthreading it. After you've done that, you can either take out if it stayed inside or just catch from the bottom the duckbill seal and inspect. To inspect, slightly pinch on either side of the duckbill seal to expose the slit and check it for any foreign debris or particles, rinsing with fresh water if needed. After you've rinsed it with fresh water, Go ahead and reinstall the duckbill seal by placing the tapered end into the small opening in the bottom of your strainer assembly. Then thread the weighted portion onto the bottom and tighten it hand tight. To reattach the hose to the strainer, slide the nut over the end of the hose. Then slide the ferrule large end first over the hose and push the hose so that a small amount is sticking out and exposed through the end of the ferrule. You wanna make sure that this piece of hose is cut level and squared. If not, take this time to go ahead and cut it with a sharp blade. You're then going to take your hose in ferrule and push it onto the barb of your strainer and tighten down the nut. You can now reinsert your strainer into your concentrate and we can move on to checking the check valve assembly. Now we're going to remove and inspect the check valve. Keep in mind there may still be undiluted chemical inside the stem assembly and to take all proper precautions when handling these components. What we're going to do is locate the check valve nut at the bottom of the stem assembly and remove, keeping one hand underneath all the parts in case something is to fall down during this process. Remove the check valve nut and pull down on the check valve barb. Now the check valve assembly may come with the barb or it may stay up inside the stem itself. Find the check valve assembly and inspect. You're going to want to very closely inspect and check between the cone and the washer all the way around. You'll also want to check between the seal and the washer all the way around. And you'll also want to check on the back side of the seal between the spring for any foreign debris or particles. Once the check valve has been thoroughly inspected, it is time to reinsert it onto the bottom piece. In order to do so, you need to reinsert the spring downward first, like so, making sure the black seal is sitting properly on the groove. You can wiggle it to make sure it is on there correctly. Then it is time to reinsert it into the bottom of the stem assembly, like so. You will feel the O-ring locking into place. Reattach the check valve and tighten hand tight. Now that we've reinstalled our check valve, 
we want to go ahead and turn the unit on and let it run to check for any leaks. At this time, it may be beneficial to shut a valve downstream from the unit to apply back pressure on your system to help check for any drips or leaks. If you do notice any leaks coming from the check valve assembly down here, it is a good time to go ahead and replace it. Now that we've ensured that there is no leaks and the check valve is working, we're gonna go ahead and reattach our hose assembly. To do that, slide the nut over the end of the hose. Then slide the ferrule over the end of the hose, wide end first, pushing the hose slightly through the end of the ferrule so that a small bit is exposed. You wanna make sure that the hose is cut level and squared off. If not, take this time to cut it square with a sharp blade. Once you've ensured that the hose is nice and square, we're gonna reattach it to the check valve barb. To do that, simply push the ferrule and the hose up onto the barb together and tighten the hose nut onto the check valve barb. You're ready to begin injecting. For more information, give us a call today and thanks for watching.